if you could see what you guys are balancing on right now it's a vitamin container hairspray and a perfume good morning it is currently 8 54 which i know maybe a lot of people are like that's not even that early for me it is and for a weekend it is i look nuts i really want to get one of those like ice roller things because i wake up with these bags all the time and i'm like always super puffy and i think that one of those ice rollers would be a good investment for me but i'm going to san diego i'm going on a little road trip it's only two and a half hours so i don't know if you can really call it a road trip but i'm going to san diego so i thought i would get ready with you guys i'm not doing like any crazy makeup right now just because it's so early i am meeting emily for lunch i know you guys know who emily is um she was in my vegas vlogs she was in my colorado denver vlog um so i have not seen her in so long and i'm so excited so i'm meeting her for lunch that's why i'll have a, like a little bit of makeup on and also while i'm getting ready i was gonna show you what i packed but it's kind of already packed but let me show you oh my god let me show you the jewelry that i'm like wearing and that i'm obsessed with really quick before i continue my makeup this is anna luisa you guys have heard me talk about anna luisa before but i got new pieces that i really want to show you and i was about to put this one on so i was like let me just show you now this is a safety pin necklace and you guys know that i used to wear those safety pin earrings all the time so i had to get the matching necklace i'm absolutely obsessed you know what i might as well put it on now because i don't want to forget it but anna luisa is having their black friday sale right now so i will link that down below for you guys they are just such an amazing company and i wear them if my nails could actually open this clasp we'd be in um good shape so if you've never checked them out before now is the time it is literally the jewelry that i wear every single day it does not tarnish i wear it in the shower um i like never take my earrings out of course i clean them once in a while but like in the sense of i know some people take them out to sleep and stuff i don't do that i literally just wear my earrings 24 7. so if you're someone who does that but has always had a problem with things tarnishing and stuff like that then definitely check out Ana Luisa. I am obsessed. Oh my God, you can see it better now. <gasps> Look how cute. Oh my God, I'm like actually obsessed. I will leave everything linked down below. They are a sustainable company. They use recycled materials. Everything is super reasonably priced. I will leave the Black Friday sale linked down below. I know in November they were doing a 20% off sale, but that is unfortunately over. So you do not want to miss the Black Friday sale. I believe it is buy one, get one 60% off, which is crazy such a good deal click on the link and let me know what you get so i'm sure you guys are wondering why i'm going to san diego and so funny you ask i am going to visit my boyfriend i know guys i know what you all you all just went oh, she's a boyfriend i do very very happy and i am so excited to go down there i always mix foundation colors just because it never matches my skin properly especially when i have a spray tan not a spray tan but like self tan like right now yeah so like this color is just like nowhere it's not it it's gonna probably look so not it on camera but i promise it's close enough it's so funny because i never do my makeup on youtube or like i never have i never there's been like a couple get ready with me and like that kind of stuff but every time i used to mention to people like back in the day that i do youtube they would ask if i did makeup and i was like i'm not good at it so i don't know why you'd think that but thanks i guess i think i'm just gonna do like a foundation a little bit of powder vibe you know what i mean um maybe a little bit of blush but like definitely not really gonna do like eyeshadow and stuff right now i'm gonna save that for like when i go to dinner tonight because i feel like i'm probably gonna get to my hotel and like take a nap so i don't want to do any like crazy makeup because i'll probably end up redoing it you know oh another topic that i wanted to touch on is that it is coming up on a year since I got lip filler. Sis's lips are still plump. 
I only did it once. I got it last December and mine never really like dissolved. It dissolved a little bit, which was a good thing because they were like too big at first, you know? My mom asks me all the time, did you get more lip filler? Did you get more lip filler? Oh my God, you got more lip filler. And it's like, I did not actually. It just never really dissolved, which I'm so happy about because why would I want to keep going back and like keep doing that? I still have like massive bags under my eyes. If anyone knows how to fix that, please comment down below and let me know because anyway, I am so excited to head down to San Diego. I've never been. Well, okay, that's a lie. I have been, but I went once when I was like, 16 for a high school like broadcast competition so that doesn't really count I was with my high school and then I did go to help my boyfriend move into his new apartment but again I didn't really get to like see anything because I was just there to move him in and that was it like literally just there for the day and then we came back to LA I'm so excited whoa that looks nuts on camera it doesn't look that in person. Oh, this is what I was gonna say earlier. I was gonna do this on TikTok Live or go Instagram Live, That I mean, not Instagram, or YouTube Live. That was my original plan here to like get ready with me on live. But I was just like, I wanna show you guys what I do in San Diego and I wanna show you guys um, all that kind of stuff and obviously if I go live I can't do that I've used or I've done like the same makeup techniques for as long as I can remember I was so amazed with myself when I did my Joker makeup for Halloween if you haven't seen it I posted photos of it on Instagram I really wanted to film me doing that makeup look but I knew that I was gonna be so focused and like I wouldn't be able to really like tell you guys what I was doing because I didn't know what I was doing I really just like winged it I'm gonna go put my clothes on I'll be back okay I just put on my outfit you guys can't really see what now you can see it's just these really cute pink jeans and this white little frill top I feel like for the restaurant that I'm going to this is super cute and then like look how cute this necklace just looks with it you can't tell me that's not the cutest necklace you've ever seen like I'm I'm obsessed. Okay, next up, makeup wise, I'm gonna add a little bit of blush. I'm trying out for the first time the Glossier Cloud Paint. I'm nervous because I got a darker color than maybe I should have. And start like over here. See how dark it is. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I like her. I don't know what it looks like in the camera, but okay, that, that looks good. I do like that, I do. Are you guys ambidextrous when it comes to your makeup? Like, do you use your left hand for your left side and your right hand for your right side? I am. Oh, well, you know what's so sad? I tried out that eyelash serum that like, like makes your eyelashes grow. I had a terrible allergic reaction. And I've gotten eyelash extensions once before, and that kind of happened when I got eyelash extensions. I got like little red bumps, and it was very itchy, and so I'm definitely allergic to like something, or my eyes are just like super sensitive. I don't know. Another really fun story, I restarted Pretty Little Liars. Season one restarted pilot episode. I'm on season three right now in the span of like, two weeks i know you're probably like how did you do that i watch it every waking second that i have the opportunity i am obsessed just as i was back in the day i knew i would be oh my god i didn't even tell you guys about lucy hale hold on oh my god wait this is so important and i rather like look at you guys and tell you while i'm not doing my mascara oh my god my lucy hale story lucy hale is who plays aria in pretty little liars me and christy were at the jonas brothers concert and our section is right here. We have like a little box, it was at the Hollywood Bowl. And Lucy Hale is like two sections over, like super close, super close to us. We're in the same section essentially. She's just like two like rows over, there we go. Same section though. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go say hi. I just wanna let her know that like I love her work, like I love her liars, like whatever, like just gonna go say hi. I'm not gonna intrude, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna like say hi. No big deal, right? 
like I said, we're in the section, so we have tickets, we're able to walk around in that area. I walk past her and I wave and she just goes, And I'm like, okay, does she not know that I'm waving at her? Like, I'm a hello, you're Lucy Hale. It's not like you're a random person. Like, I'm. And I was like, oh my god, hi. And she was just like, and I was like, hello. And she was like, <sighs> and I ran. I ran. I was like, oh my god. Christy was like, I want to delete that from my memory. I don't want to remember that happened. I want to get the vision of her face out of my head because it was so bad. Um, and yeah, so that is what happened with Lucy Hale a couple weeks ago. And I know people are gonna sit there and be like, well, you shouldn't have bothered her. And like, okay, if you really don't wanna be bothered, then don't be sitting in general admission. Like general, then get VIP. If you don't want anyone going near you. Sorry, that's just my opinion. You're at a concert. It's not like I followed you to your home or it's not like I waited outside a store or it's, you know, like you're at a concert you're sitting in my section, so I think that's fair game. I don't think I'm really gonna do anything to my hair just because it's fine the way that it is. Like, I don't need anything crazy, but this is the look, guys. My makeup looks so much better in person, I don't understand. So you can see the way that I had you guys stacked. Um, okay, so this is my outfit. Super cute. I love it. Makeup's done. Hair we're keeping this way. All right, so I'm gonna go finish packing and I will see you guys soon. I don't even know if this is a good setup, but I just took Christmas photos with Beanie and you're probably wondering why did you do that? It's not even Thanksgiving yet, but it's because Bean is staying with my parents for a little bit after Thanksgiving. So I don't know if my tree will still be up by the time she gets back, you know, like the whole thing. So I was like, why not just take them now? So let's talk about it. Did I vlog in San Diego? Immediately now, I'm sorry. I, okay, here, here's, here's the thing. I didn't vlog in San Diego. I wasn't planning on vlogging in San Diego. Two reasons. One, I got to catch up with Emily, who you guys know is one of my closest friends. I haven't seen her in so long. And so I was catching up with her. Wasn't gonna be vlogging that. Number two, spending quality time with my mans. So I wasn't gonna vlog. But what I am gonna do is go through some of the photos that I took over the weekend and tell you guys about them. So it's like you were there, you know? I didn't do anything crazy. I was literally only there for basically 24 hours. So it wasn't anything too intense, but I will be going there all the time. So I'm super excited. And like literally in my maps, I have a San Diego guide thing and it's just like a bunch of places that I wanna go to. Okay, I take my food and things very seriously. When I got there, me and Emily ate at this place called Farmer's Table. It was in Little Italy, which is downtown. It was so cute. There was a farmer's market going on, so it was super packed and crowded, but it was awesome. We were supposed to go to this place or this restaurant called Morning Glory, but it was a two hour wait. So I was like, you know what? We'll come back. It's really not that big of a deal. We'll come back another time. Food was delicious. Then we walked around. Me and Beanie got to walk around a little bit. Um, and then I checked into the hotel. The hotel I found on TikTok. Bean wants to be included because she was there. So the hotel I found on TikTok, and I was so excited to stay there because it was so cute. It's called The Guild and it's downtown. And it is just so aesthetically adorable. This was Bean's first time staying in a hotel or kind of like traveling in general. We travel all the time like to go home, but in the sense of traveling with her and like staying in a hotel, this was kind of the first time. Mr. Mans was still working. So he was still working. I checked to the hotel and then just like showered, relaxed, and then got ready for dinner because I had to go. Then he was done with work at that point. I took a lot of mirror selfies because the place was so adorable. Originally, so I had two places planned for dinner. There was either Cloak and Petal or Bang Bang Sushi. They were both sushi places. And the place that I really wanted to go to was Bang Bang Sushi because I saw a bunch of really cool things about it on TikTok, but it was saying that you needed a reservation and there was no reservations available. So I was like, is there really even a point in like trying? So Mr. Mans, you, his name is like on my Instagram, but I just find it funnier to like not say his name or just say Mr. Mans. So Mr. Mans, was like, where do you wanna go? Like, tell me where you wanna go, and that's where we're gonna go. And I was like, well, I wanna go to Bang Bang. So we went there, and he was like, I'm gonna run in, see if we can get a table, and then if not, we'll go to Cloak and Petal, but like, we'll try this place first, because that's where you wanna go. So we like waited, he comes running back to the car, and he was like, I got us a table. Like, go inside, go, go to the table, I'll go park the car. 
So we got to go there and it was really cool. It's a sushi restaurant that turns into a club at night at like 10 p.m. We did not stay for the club portion. We just ate a boatload of sushi. Yes, literally a boatload. We got one of like the little sushi boats thingies. Not little, it was huge. It was like six rolls. So, which was supposed to feed six people and there were only two of us. Oh my God, I'm so sorry that my trash can is behind me. Anyway, but so we went there, it was super cool, got cool pictures, and then the next day we went over to La Jolla and had some breakfast at this place called Richard Walker's, which was a pancake house, and it was delicious, delicious. The pancakes were absolutely insane. So then we did that, and then after that we kind of just relaxed, took a nap, and then I drove back to LA. So that was pretty much it. Really nothing crazy. Like I said, just spent some quality time, which was really awesome. Um, and then this week is Thanksgiving. So I got back to LA on Sunday night and then I leave for Florida for Thanksgiving. When you're watching this, probably today. But I know you guys are probably like, oh my God, you just said 700 million things in the span of like two minutes. But that was my weekend. So I'm glad that you guys kind of got to go along with me. Um, I got to show you guys basically what I did. Like I said, I didn't do anything too crazy. So that's why I didn't really vlog. But I'm glad I could still show it with you guys and take you guys along with me because I'm super excited. It'll be a cool adventure that I get to share with you guys always heading down there. And I'm just super excited to get, that I get to go there all the time. I could not speak for a second. But like I said, this week is Thanksgiving and you all know how thankful I am for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. That's really all I've got. It's all I've got for you guys in my Christmas PJs. I also got me and Mr. Man's matching ones with like the plaid print. I don't have any photos in those. That is pretty much it guys. Oh, don't forget if you guys wanna go check out the Black Friday sale for Ana Luisa. I'll have all of that linked down below. It is, it's, I'm literally just obsessed with this necklace. Like, are you kidding me how cute it is? Black Friday sale happening right now. Huge, don't wanna miss out. But I love you guys. I hope you all have a safe and happy Thanksgiving with your loved ones. And I am, like I said, so beyond thankful for you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time with a brand new video. Love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you soon.